Time, brother. Right. I need two other people over here. Two other people over here. I need the other sheep. Where am I, I need, putting this? Um, I, I need one more person. I need, I need someone to get this. Yeah, somebody hold that. <laughs> hold, you gotta hold it up. You gotta hold it up. Okay. Okay, y'all can drop that sheet. Uh oh. Ashley? Ashley. Last year's been a struggle, huh? What's the one thing in the whole world? That could make today better than any other day. Drop it. You can clock out now. I'm so much taller than you, I'm sorry. She's dead. You can have more up two. F two? Okay. Ready? Yay!
the Keys, the Alvin Denton, North Carolina, and Callie just got home yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another all-American welcome to the entire McGee family arena here on the field this evening. Dana! A surprise homecoming just in time for Memorial Day. WTOC's Linda Figueredo is joining us from Effingham County, where a member of the Georgia Air National Guard's 117th Air Control Squadron surprised his daughters on their last day of school. It took weeks of planning and a lot of secrecy, but the Horton family says it was worth it as their three daughters were individually surprised by their father today. Please give a warm welcome to Master Sergeant Horton, or better. On the last day of school at Effingham Middle School, Megan Horton thought she was just about to watch the talent show, but it kicked off with a huge surprise. Her dad, Master Sergeant Ray Horton, came home just in time for the last day of school after a six-month deployment. I love you. It, it, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, being gone for six months, missing Christmas and New Year's and, and birthdays that happen, and just being away for six months, this is... This is a homecoming that you dream of. When Master Sergeant Horton saw his baby girl running his way, emotion overwhelmed him. It brought tears to my eyes. I can't lie. Um, this is my baby daughter. So. And the tears wouldn't stop there. Soon after, he arrived at the Effingham County High School to surprise his other daughters. But his eldest, Hannah, found him first. Did you just see me walk by? Yeah. Then the family went to find the middle child, Emily. He was in such shock, she couldn't even hug her father at first. It was your heart with joy to, to see the happiness that, that you get to see coming home after a long deployment like this. Um, just uh, being able to see their reaction and, and knowing how much they've missed me and I've missed them during this time, it's, uh, it's just heart filling. Priceless. Just priceless. Made it all worth it. It wasn't easy for their mother, Martha, to keep the whole surprise a secret. Oh, Rough. I've had to <laughs> tell fibs to my kids. <laughs> I told them that he was not coming home for another week. The Horton family plans on spending this Memorial Day together, enjoying their father's homecoming and spending much needed time together on a family vacation. Live in Effingham County, Linda Figueredo, WTOC News. We have some breaking news. <laughs> My name 
is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Jose Torres. I'm returning back from an assignment in South Korea, and uh, we're coming back to uh, give us a nice surprise to my children. Be very happy, and uh, they're gonna probably scream or cry, and probably I will too. But uh, you know, it's just nice to be back and uh, reunited. Especially for us, the military do our work. You know, we know that the families are going to be taken care of uh, back here, so we can do our jobs. Joan, how long has your father been away? Uh, wow, that's a long time. What is the first thing you want to do with him? Yeah. <laughs>